Om Namah Shivaya, I am Prema. Om Namah Shivaya, I am Gopala. Om Namo Narayanaya is salutations to that paramordial sound Om, which is the cause of all our creation and our being. Narayanaya is the Lord who came in human form to help us to find our way back to Him. And this particular chant that we had is about saying, We are your servants, O Lord. We are here to serve you so we know best what right actions are, what right thoughts are, what right behavior is, etc. So that we don't make our minds rule us. Actually, you are the ruler, you are the master, we are your servants. Guide us back to you. So it's a very joyful song, even though we sang it in a very slow uh, speed. It can be accelerated also. As we accelerate, we find that the rhythm, the melody, and the bhava. Bhava is the feelings that it generates within us and in others. So as we sing these chants, the benefit is not only to us because something inside us recognizes that magnitude which we are approaching and it also touches the truth in everyone else. So some people get very meditative, some people get emotional, some people feel great love with the opening of their heart, but everyone is benefited by these chants of surrender. So depending on what your state of mind was at the time that the chant was repeated, you would have experienced what was most beneficial for you. And Master always says that we are very unique. Our voices are gifts. We might not be able to be musicians, yet we can same, sing the names of the Lord with ease. And therefore we should, because by then it is a recollection of our source, where we come from. And he always says, bhava, raga, and tala. If you are in rhythm, you don't put other people in disharmony. If there is melody, something inside you melts. And the bhava in you, when you come in, not to show off, not to create a big sensation of how what a good musician you are, there is some interaction between the listener and the performer. And there is beautiful harmony that is created which links us with God. And that is the essential teaching of Nada Yoga from all masters. That's why we in the Christian tradition, we have chants. The Muslim traditions, they have their chants. In the Hindu tradition, most of our music is devotional. And here, it connects us with the Almighty at its best with our hearts. Om Namah Shivaya.